You're running for governor. It's a top office, so I've got a. It's incumbent on me to, to ask you about some major state issues. Please. Um, public schools. Um, the last budget to fix a budget deficit, uh, Governor Walker and um, members of his party uh, cut aid to public schools and the tech colleges and the UW system. Your reaction to that? Um, they didn't just cut aid. They it was the largest state funding cut uh, that in to, to school aid that our state had ever seen. Um, and at the same time, they increased funding and increased a, a program that provided state dollars to private, for-profit charter schools. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, a, a strong, funded public education system is uh, vital to, uh, to a functioning community and state. Um, the, the University of Wisconsin is our state's largest employer. Um, you know, you don't cut funding to the largest employer of the state uh, and claim that it creates jobs. Okay. Um, for me, education is an investment. Um, and again, when you, when, you have a, when you have a budget issue, you, you cut unnecessary services, you cut back on things that you can do without. You don't go into your investment, plat you know, investment portfolio and cut your, you know, your most valuable investment by by uh, you know twenty twenty five percent, it seems uh, backwards and um, and irresponsible. Um, health care is a huge issue. Mm -hmm. One in five Wisconsin residents get all or part of their health care through a state government program. Mm -hmm. um, in two thousand and nine, Senate Democrats backed a universal health care program. Mm -hmm. what, what what are your feelings on the health care issue? Um, Scott Walker continues to claim that he increased funding to to Badger and Medicare and and that. Um, and that he's a champion of, of health care rights. Uh, the numbers speak differently. Um, recently, 30-some uh, thousand people were, were forced off of the, the battery care books uh, due to changes in, in, uh, in um, accessibility and, and program availability. Um, it's, it's the wrong direction for our state. I believe in a, in a state and a country as developed as ours, um, health care is a human right. Um, you know, right now, you're uh, a citizen's free freedom is limited by how much health care they can afford, by the quality of health care they can afford. Um, I think it's uh, wrong and, and almost barbaric for people to, to lose their homes because they get sick. Um, we, we have the means to streamline and, and make our health care system more efficient. Um, and I think that, that the uh, for-profit private health care industry uh, is a is a major roadblock to uh, to that happening. Do you support a national goal of a universal health care um, system? I don't, I don't necessarily know if, if nationally is the best process. I think there definitely are options and solutions on state levels to create statewide single payer health care. Um, I'm I don't uh, kind of a camp a campaign uh, plank of mine is that I individ I personally do not know. Um, all of the or solutions to you know to Wisconsin's problems or what is best for Wisconsin. Okay. Um, I strongly believe that that the citizens of Wisconsin are capable of of you know creating creative and and new ways to solve our, to solve our problems. You know solutions, common sense solutions. Um, and I think by uh, encouraging and providing a, a seat at the table for for knowledgeable and interested citizens, that we um, we will be able to come. Our greatest problems, including health care. Um, final major issue I want to ask you about is transportation funding. Mm -hmm. Now, the expansion of the interstate between Madison and the Illinois border has just been announced. It's at least $715 million. How do you think we should pay for a combination of highways, mass transit, and would you have supported the federal money for the high speed trains from Milwaukee to Madison? I think you would have to have been a fool to turn that money down. Um, and I think Scott Walker was. I think he was politicking. Um, it, would, it would have created thousands of jobs in our state, um, f federal money coming into the state uh, can never hurt, especially when it's for a project that would have benefited our state so greatly. I think it is vital that we move um, our infrastructure to a, a 21st century infrastructure. We're living in the 21st century and relying on a 20th century electricity and transportation infrastructure. Um, there are major developments that are, that are needed in order to bring us up to date, um, I think one of which is is the transport you know is, is upgrading our transportation system, mm -hmm. um, uh, relying 
so heavily on, on dirty sources of fuel um, is, is a, a huge concern of mine. Um, I think investing in, in a clean energy infrastructure um, would, be a, would be a priority of mine. Um, it would help create jobs, uh, create an industry that, is, that I guarantee will be a growth industry in this country. Um, it's a matter of time before, before our options are, are considerably limited um, and we have su uh, 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 an amazing source of power um, in the sun and the wind um, and there's no reason that Wisconsin can't be a, a leader in developing that, that technology. Um, so I, uh, I think our priorities are, um, are out of whack when we turn down $7 million for the federal money to, uh, to develop our infrastructure and grow our economy. Um, and then turn around and propose spending um, the same amount of money to uh, to grow a, an outdated form of of transportation. We're almost out of time. Maybe just one final question. It's not very likely that you'll get a chance to debate Governor Walker, but let me ask you this. If there were a debate and you were given a chance to ask Governor Walker one question, what question would you ask Governor Walker? It's a great question. Um, Scott Walker, uh, you continue to say that it's working. Um, you repeat that lie over and over and over again. Um, my question to you is, with the, the state budget, um, the state projected budget deficit greater than when you took office, um, and with Wisconsin having the uh, worst job records in the nation, um, what exactly is working? Okay. Very good. Arthur Cole Riggs, a Republican candidate for governor on the May 8th primary. Thanks so much for stopping into Wisconsin Eye. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.